once I'm off, I start working on kimchi socks. Um, on my lunch break, I'm working on kimchi socks. Um, even restroom breaks, working on kimchi socks in a sense, you know, sending messages, talking to people. <laughs> What's up everyone, this is Von Nola R, you call me Jason if you like, and I am here in South Korea, but I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I am here slinging socks. This is a video for people who wanna come to a country like Korea and wanna work. They wanna invest their time, their energy, their skills into adding to the economy here in a positive way. We don't want that make America great again type of mentality because that is obnoxious, arrogant BS that we don't need to put out outside of our borders. You can become get a teacher job, you can get even the military, or you can get some type of corporate gigs that get you over here in Korea. All right, cool. They got they got your foot in the door. That's like your that's like your your base pay. I guess you could say you know that's that steady income you got coming in. However, what what if that job fired you? I went to college because you know you, you get brought up talking about oh go to college, you get a, you get you get a ton of experience and a bunch of opportunities open up for you. Whatever you know the whole the whole um, sales pitch they teach you about going to college. But for me, I was like, there's other opportunities out there. And then that's when I came across the military, you know, and they gave me opportunity to leave the U.S. Because, you know, you're taken out of your comfort zone and you play somewhere where you either sink or swim. You know, yeah, you got the military, but there's other things I was doing that wasn't just military-wise. You know, like I said, I was trying to look opportunities for business. Being a foreigner in another land was new for me because I was so used to being in America the whole time. And it gave me a first-hand perspective of foreigners when they come to America. I started relating to them. I started understanding why when they come to America, they do so well because, hey, it's either they sink or swim. There's no, there's no safety net for them. They either have to hustle or they fucking broke. I had to get kicked out of the country. Always have like a another income stream coming in that you can um, depend on, but it's based off of you. It's based off of your worth ethic. It's based off of what you feel you are worth. You know, because you work for another company, they're gonna pay you what they think you would. And then also having a side hustle can grow into your full-time business. It can, go, it can, it can completely replace the, the job that got you here in Korea. You have to deal with the doubters. You have to deal with the heartaches. You have to deal with the low moments because it's gonna pay off in the long run because you're gonna be the first one to reap from it. While everyone else that told you it can't be done, they're gonna get your leftovers. Look at Tesla. Look at all the things that he's doing that people said, oh, that's stupid, don't waste your money. But look at it. Doubters are gonna be out there. The only reason why people are doubting it because they can't see it happening. They don't possess the, the capability to see things that's not in actual physical existence at this moment. If you're just playing around and ain't about making money, then fuck, we ain't gonna never get money. You're just gonna fucking party all the time. The time you spend partying needs to be spent into your business, especially if you have a full-time job. So like every hour, every minute, every second, you're not working your nine to five job needs to be put into your business. And that's the sacrifice you have to make, especially if you are a foreigner. You have to put in more than a local because they don't have to put in as much effort as you because they this is their land, this is their playground, this is their battlefield. Stay hungry, work 10 times harder, stay foolish, think outside the box. Think about what it is that they're not doing that you can do to help give you a better advantage and stay humble, whereas you might fuck up. You might take an L. Learn from it and keep moving forward. Don't let it keep you down. I saw the opportunity is in Asia, especially in Korea, because, you know, Korea has come far since the Korean War era, you know. They have done a lot within like 60 years. They, look, this is like, all this is done in 60 years, which is amazing, you know. I think there's a lot of opportunity for it expats, foreigners who want to come to Korea, I mean, you know, because now they're coming in age where they want to try more outside type of things, foods, culture, um, influence in a sense, they, which they already are. I think this is a lot of influence from outside um, entities already, but now I just think it's a good spot for foreigners in particular. 
who wants to try to grow and build something. And this thing is like annoying. Don't go to another country being the stereotypical American. Go to another country, be open-minded, be respectable, be like how when foreigners come to our country, they're trying to be productive, they're trying to add value, they're trying to build a build a family, our community. Take that same work ethic, take that same drive and do it when you go outside the US. Okay.